Well, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another Facebook Friday, a Frilici Friday. How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys had a good week, right? It's been, gosh, we're almost the end of October. Halloween is next week. Who's excited about that? Oh my gosh, I love passing out candy. It's funny, my neighborhood gets really, really busy during Halloween. Um, it's kind of, it seems to be the neighborhood where if you live out in the country, everybody brings their kids into this neighborhood to do trick-or-treating. So we get tons and tons of people and I love, I'm hoping for, hi Marianne, good morning. I'm talking about Halloween. I'm hoping for good weather. Probably we could be checking the forecast by now, right? You never know, but um, hopefully it's good weather. I, my ideal is to like sit out on the porch and pass out candy because then you can see all the kids kind of coming and going. So hopefully we'll see, we'll see. Um, more cute treats to make too, right? Who has made Halloween treats, anybody? Um, yeah, you love Halloween too. Have you made many treats this year, Marianne? I don't know, some people love to like, you know, make them and pass them out. I think that would be crazy around here because we have like hundreds of kids. I would never be able to keep up with that. Hi Sandra, good morning, how are you? We're just talking about Halloween next week. Are you excited for it? Do you make, do you make treats to pass out or, um, you know, maybe not, like I said, maybe not to like everybody that comes to the door, but those like super special <laughs> neighbors and friends. Um, oh, rainy, cold day. Yeah, you know what? Hi, Wendy, good morning. It's supposed to be tomorrow. I was looking at the um, weather. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, you. I see, you don't make them anymore. Hi, Philomena, good morning. We're talking about Halloween. I'm just, I'm so excited. Um, but oh, the other thing, um, Sandra just said how kind of rainy and cold it is in Washington today. Today is not too bad here in Michigan, but the next two days are kind of supposed to be that dreary, rainy, ugly, cold, almost November weather, which <laughs> this is sad because I'm, I'm all right with it. I'm kind of excited because that's my excuse. I'm planning like a huge weekend of like getting all kinds of stuff done. So it's fine if I don't have to go outside or leave the house much at all and I can be in my craft room and making lots of cute projects. So I'm hopefully gonna have my next like regular class to go. I'm gonna show you guys the next holiday class to go um, in just a little bit. Um, but let's see, what else is going on? Oh, um, <clears throat> so I had my U of M gear last weekend on, rooting my Michigan Wolverines on. Um, let's see, have I, I hope I've said hello to everybody this morning. Um, anyway, we had a great game last weekend. It was kind of rainy and ugly here in Michigan last weekend too. Actually, they even had rain delay, but um, I think that kind of helped Michigan. They like were a little not so great when they first started and then they went in for that rain delay. And I don't know, maybe <laughs> the coaches said something or did something. So it was a good win for us. And we got to go um, after the game, these friends of mine that Lily and I went to visit, um, they live not too far from Ann Arbor and their um, oldest daughter just started school at U of M um, this fall. So we got to go, this was like my dream because that's where I went to school also. So we got to go back to campus, which I haven't been to in a really long time. And um, we wandered all around. We got to see Madeline is her name. We got to see Madeline in her dorm room and it's tiny. I was like, was my room this tiny? I feel like maybe it was a little bit bigger, but then honestly, after touring through, hi Nancy, good morning, after touring through campus and like some of the other buildings, basically everything felt a lot smaller than it did when I was there um, like 30 years ago. So maybe everything really wasn't quite as big back then as I thought, but it was just, we had so much fun. It was not very good weather. I, I think we would have been able to do a lot more exploring, but we were with our umbrellas and, you know, it was kind of cold and ugly. So we did what we could, but it was fun to get back on campus and, and see things. So yeah, um, let's see what else is going on. Next weekend, we have here, if you're local here in Alma or the area, we have um, a craft fair right down the street. It's called His Place and the Filling Station. So it's kind of two different buildings, but I'm gonna be there. So it's next Saturday. I think it's November 3rd, if that, is that right? Anyway, whatever next Saturday is. Um, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I've got lots of cute treats. Um, 
yeah, so I'm like excited about getting all that stuff out to put out at the craft fair. And it's always fun to meet new people. That's a great way, um, you know, to kind of meet some new friends too. So come see me, old friends, new friends, um, spread the word. And it's great to support all the other vendors that are there too. Obviously everybody works really hard at all their, you know, we know all of our handmade crafts, right? So it's really nice to be able to support those people. So hi, Nikki, good morning, how are you? I hope everything's good in Utah. Um, so what else? Oh, um, I think I posted on Facebook the weekend retreat. I've been talking about that for um, kind of on and off on Facebook Lives. I think I said the deadline was maybe even yesterday, but I'm like, okay, basically I'll extend it through the weekend. So if anybody is interested, if you have any questions, the weekend retreat, and I had to bring my calendar over here. Um, it is November 16, 17, and 18. It's here in Michigan in Lansing. Anybody can come from wherever you are, right? Um, it's an awesome, awesome weekend. But if you have any questions, I'll post the link one more time. If you're interested, this is like the drop dead. You got to sign up by Sunday this weekend if you would like to come hang out with us for the weekend, November 16, 17, and 18 in Lansing, okay? Um, oh, and then just another quick reminder, the next Simple Beautiful card class is actually that Wednesday before the weekend retreat. So that is September, or not September, November 14th, anytime from five until nine. We're actually not, oh, it's getting colder in Utah. Yes, it is here too, Nikki. Yeah, and the leaves are kind of falling. They're like about maybe not even halfway <laughs> down. I was like, oh, I don't think we need to rake quite yet, but <laughs> soon enough we'll have lots of leaves to rake. Um, but okay, yeah, so Simple Beautiful Car Class, November 14th, it's a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, Marianne, it never ends. It's like as soon as like you get kind of a break, I look around, I'm like, what else can we do? So. Um, <laughs> yes, Wendy says the woods are going to be calling her during the retreat. Um, do I ever get sick? Um, okay, I'm knocking on my wood table here. No, no. <laughs> and thankfully, Leo's not here right now, so he can't hear me knocking, otherwise he'd be barking. Um, but generally, I stay pretty healthy. Thank goodness, right? I mean, I know you can't take your health for granted, for sure, but... Um, yeah, and actually, so can't get things done last weekend. I was gone all weekend, so I didn't get anything done. So, <laughs> you know, that's how every once in a while. And it felt good, actually, because sometimes, you know, you get so bogged down in everything you have to do. And if you get away and, like, forget about it for a little while, you come back super refreshed and, like, ready to go again. So that's kind of where I'm at. Like, like I said, this weekend I'm excited about the rain and the drear and <laughs> playing in the craft room. So... Okay, the, my last, I think I started to say that Simple Beautiful Car class, because um, I want to make sure everybody knows if you're local here, that the class is on Wednesday the 14th, but because of the weekend retreat on the 16th, we're not going to have class that Friday afternoon. Hi, Rosa. How are you? I'm glad you could make it. It was good to see you last night. Rosa came to our last Stampus Deck class. Well, that was last night. Our most recent one, I guess I should say. Not the last one, because we've got one more coming up. And I'll tell you guys about that, too. <laughs> yes, okay, you enjoyed it, I think. That's what you're saying. Good, I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, yeah, so, okay, let's do our first drawing. You guys ready? <clears throat> this was that, the Poppy Parade Textured Weave Ribbon. I love. There's something about this ribbon ties so beautifully. So it comes in this Poppy Parade. There is also... Am I going to remember the color names? I am feeling like I'm totally drawing a blank. The one is gray granite and the other is our green, the granny apple green. Yeah, that's another, that'd be a good one for Christmas time too. Um, actually, that's what I have like little trash bins down at the studio that have like, they're kind of like a metal, like galvanized, kind of a long skinny, almost like, you know, cattle, <laughs> like drink out, you know what I mean? Like that size or that shape, not that size, obviously. But anyway, but they've got these loops on the side. So I tied the pretty red and green ribbon on the ends of them. I always like to do that because it's a fun way to show off our ribbon. So, but this ribbon is beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it, especially this poppy parade for holiday time. And the granny apple green is a fun green for holiday time too. So, okay, this drawing, you guys know the drill, right? One entry for commenting on Facebook Live. Three entries if you share the video with a comment, and then another three entries if you're not currently signed up to uh, my email list. If you do that, you always get a free tutorial emailed to you the first time you sign up for the email list, and then your name, you get three entries in this drawing. 
and now starting like actually this week right well right now coming up I've got another fun because I'm trying to encourage um, comments and shares on other posts on either this Facebook group right here the gathering inspiration stamp studio Facebook group or the gathering inspiration stamp studio the Facebook business page so we've got a group and a page so either place I'm gonna pick one day each week, so say I pick Wednesday next week, and anyone that comments or shares any of the posts on the group or on the business page, you get three entries into this drawing for that as well. So it's a random, you never know what day I'm gonna pick, so you gotta comment and share every single day, right? <laughs> but one day every week I'm gonna pick and your name's gonna go in here, three entries for comments and shares on that like random pick that I make each week. So. That starts with next week's drawing. So those names, you know, I didn't do that this week, but I wanted to announce that too. So hopefully that makes sense. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, because of that truly helps me too. I'm learning more about Facebook and the algorithms and all of that. And especially on the business page, the more there are comments and shares and interactions, the more that says to Facebook, like we're an active group and a page, and so they'll share it with more people. So then that in turn helps my small business. So I would appreciate that. And then I'm gonna reward you guys with more entries in the drawing. So I'm gonna be spending forever <laughs> putting names in the drawing, but that's all right. I love that. I love to see, I love to go back through all the comments and the shares. I do that um, like Thursday night, I do that to prep for this. So, okay, enough said. Let's see, we've got, I have shaken, shaken these around really, really well. I try to look away so I don't see whose name. <laughs> Miss Mary Ann McGinnis. Can I get that in there? There you go. So Mary Ann is the winner of the Poppy Parade ribbon. So I will get that out to you, Mary Ann. So congratulations. Very, very nice. Okay, so this week we are gonna draw, well, I'm sorry. The giveaway is going to be, these are called the Petal, what are they? Yeah, the Petal Pink Rhinestone Gems. Can you see, I, I need glasses these days. So hi Deb, how are you? I, everything's good with you. Oh, you're welcome, Marianne. Yay, and that's sweet, Wendy. Um, okay, so this next week though, this is what we're gonna draw for. Can you guys see? So these have been the thing that I, I haven't played with them yet. I haven't found the right project for them. So now that I'm giving them away, I'm thinking, okay, I'm, inspiration is going to strike me and we're going to come up with something because I think these are beautiful for, they would be great. They're like a really pale pink. They would be beautiful for like holiday projects and then even kind of wintry projects too. So they've got, can you guys see, there's like a square, a, um, some diamonds, kind of rectangles, um, and those kind of, I don't know, it's almost like a circle-y diamond shape, but they're beautiful. So next week, one entry for commenting, three entries if you share the video with a comment, another three entries if you sign up for my email list if you haven't done that before. Plus you always get a free PDF tutorial when you first sign up. And then I'm picking one random day next week um, if you comment or share any of the posts on, like I said, if I pick Wednesday, so if you comment or if you share any of those posts on Wednesday, you get three more entries in the drawing to win these awesome, they are the Petal Pink Rhinestone Gems. So, very cool. Oh, I just, I love these things. They keep like staring at me like, put me on a project. And I, maybe it's because it's pale pink. I haven't used a lot of pale pink right now. I should have done it this spring, summer. So we, we're gonna find some inspiration for these. If you guys have made a project using these, I would love for you to post it on our page too because that might help inspire me um, come, with, come up with something to do with them too because I really want to. So, okay, that would be awesome. Um, all right, what else do we have? Let's do our next drawing. Let's just keep on rolling, right? So, well, and actually, this isn't really a drawing because we only had only had one online order this week. So you guys understand, right? Your chances are really good of winning this um, second giveaway that I do. If you put at least a $30 order in, your name goes in the drawing. Well, like I said, this week there isn't really a drawing. There was only one online order and that was Miss Leah Patton. She is... Um, yeah, very, well, lucky, right? But she basically she put an online order in, she was the only one. So she wins that tin tile embossing folder. Isn't that awesome? I I love this folder. It is awesome. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So congratulations, Miss Leah. I will be getting this sent out to you very shortly. 
okay? Um, and let me make sure we're still, you know, me and my notes, right? Because I feel like I've kind of gone through everything super quickly. But I think we're good, yeah. Okay, so more bling to give away. If you put in an online order this week between now and next Wednesday, um, you get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate later on on Facebook Live and your name goes in the drawing to win, like I said, more bling. It's all about the bling with this time of year. <laughs> Sandra, your phone call to make. Yes, you, I think, didn't, um, Leah won last week too, I think. So yeah, you've had lots of phone calls to make. Well, and thank goodness she's right around the corner from you, I, as I understand it, right? So you can share that embossing folder if you don't have that one yet too. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so this week, if you put it the online order and your name goes in the drawing to win the bling. So these are those awesome, the frosted and clear epoxy droplets. Let's see. I guess you can't, maybe you can, I don't know. Can you kind of see down at the bottom, the frosty ones are back behind there and then the clear ones are up above. Um, <laughs> now I want to scroll back because I missed Sandra. You said yes, she did. Uh, yeah, oh yes, she did win. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, she's been very, very lucky, right? Um, okay, so these little frosted and clear epoxy droplets, they come kind of, I think it's like a small, medium, and large size, or is it just, might be just kind of small and large. But they're clear and they're frosted, and they're awesome. I used these actually on that um, frosted floral, frosted bouquet class to go. Um, they're just a really nice... Um, a little bit different too than the rhinestones. So the rhinestones are super sparkly. You get 140 of these rhinestones, kind of in small, medium, and large. And how many do you get? These, um, does that say 96? You probably get 48 of each of them. So kind of a little combo pack of bling. If you put an online order in of at least $30, you could win this prize right here. Plus, you get the um, projects that I demonstrate, and if your order is over $50, you always get a free embellishment from me, too. So lots of good stuff with online orders, okay? Um, yeah, okay, I think we're good. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way, and I have more to show you, but it's all stuff that I want to move the camera down, so I think we are ready to do that. Let's... Um, well, hi, oh, Kim, having computer issues. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you're here now. So if you've, um, you know, you missed a little bit, so you can always watch the beginning later. Yeah. So, okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. I'm going to move the camera down, and then we will um, show you more good stuff. Okay, so bear with me just a sec. Okay. Is it dreary where everybody is today? It's not really dreary here, but it's not. At least it's not raining. Okay, let's see. Oops, my thumb is in the way. So let's see, we gotta move that over. Okay, that looks good, I think. Um, what else do I need here? <clears throat> to find my grid paper. Here is the host code. I wanna make sure to keep that in mind. It's always on my blog too. I'll get my grid paper for later there, okay. All right, sorry ladies, quick sip of water. And, and then let's see, where are my notes? I moved them. Oh, okay, so this is the next class to go that I'm gonna do if you are not local or if you're local and wanna come, this is the last stamp -a stack class that I'm offering. Oh, oh good, Philomena, it's nice where you are. Okay, well, that's good. You maybe are getting our weather that we had yesterday too, which was, it was beautiful. This whole week has been really, really nice around here. Finally, some like good fall weather. So, okay, so this um, stamp -a stack class is offered, I gotta check my notes, but it's on November 29th, if you're local. Like I said, we did, um, the last stamp -a stack class was just last night, which featured the Dashing Deer um, stamp set and that whole bundle. Um, this month in November is going to feature, this is the Peaceful Noel stamp set. I love the stamp set. We've got this, fill the season with happiness, may your Christmas be holly jolly and bright, merry little Christmas, and then there's a Noel, and then lots of really kind of beautiful, I feel like kind of um, Christmas uh, winter imagery there too. Um, yeah, so that's the stamp set. And then I was just looking at the comment. What is Kim saying? Oh, ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, they're tearing something down. That is so, yeah, that's annoying when they do that, isn't it? <laughs> it's always so loud, like so much racket, right? Okay, um, and then it also features, this is the sprig punch. You guys can see the punch, right? And then we used a whole bunch of, this is the beautiful um, copper and, Mer so copper on this side and Mary Merlot on this side, the reversible Oh my gosh, it's like a shimmery, beautiful ribbon, okay? So let me tell you about the to-go options, right? So we have um, a couple of different options. The first is option number one that includes the Peaceful Noel stamp set and, can you guys see? Let me move that right there, right? So we can see better. The Sprig Punch and you get a full bolt of the Mary Merlot and Copper Reversible Ribbon. Plus, you're gonna make three of each of these four cards, so you're gonna make 12 cards total. I'm gonna show you the cards at the end, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that is option number one. You always get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put everything together, and you get all the parts and pieces. You just have to do your own stamping with your own ink and your own stamp set. Otherwise, everything else is provided for you, okay? So option number one is $65. Then option number two is if you don't want that sprig punch, so it's the ribbon, the stamp set, and then all four cards, three of each of them, so 12 cards total, plus the PDF tutorial, that option number two is $48, okay? Um, if you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $7 for shipping. If you're local, you can just pick the studio pickup option and then I'll have your to-go kit for you to pick up down at the studio so then that $7 shipping fee is waived. Um, option number three is if you wanna do basically all of this on your own, you just want the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put all of the cards together. I give you colors, dimensions, everything you need to know so you can make these cards on your own. That PDF tutorial is always $15 and it's always available. So three years from now, you can still get that PDF tutorial, I guess as long as my computer doesn't crash <laughs> between now and then, but probably you wouldn't want. Um, oh, Rosa, nope, there are no framelits with this stamp set. The bundle is the um, stamp set and the punch. And that does make me think, because I know we've gotten a little bit further into the season, so maybe some people have already bought the Peaceful Noel stamp set and or the punch. If you've done that and you still want to do this class to go, we will substitute. You can get any product that you want if you already have these things, whatever the value is of the stamp set and the punch if you want option number one or just the value of the stamp set for option number two pick anything else you want. If you if there's a little bit of difference, you just pay the difference. But that way you can still get the full to-go kit and then you can get some more product that you can use on other projects, okay? Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, the last option is option number four. And that is for anyone in my downline in our Inkspired Stampers group. You can get the make and takes for all 12 cards, three of each of the four cards at cost, which is basically $18 to get you all the parts and pieces, everything you need. You need to get your own stamp set and your own ink. Get that through your demo ID though so you can get your discount, right? Um, so that, I think I said that option is $18. And also free to my downline, you can always get any of the PDF tutorials for any of my class to go. I can send those to you anytime. Those are always free if you join the Inkspired Stampers group. Okay, um, let's see. RSVP uh, registration closes on Monday, November 19th, and all kits will ship no later than November 30th. Okay, you guys want to see the cards? I probably should have started with those, right? But okay, so here is the first one. Oops, I got to tie that ribbon a little bit better, I think. I love, oh my gosh. So yeah, like I said, I used a ton of this ribbon, so I was like, all right, we got to include it in the class itself. So here's the first one. May your Christmas be holly jolly and bright with that gorgeous ribbon. And then this is the coordinating, I think it's the Joyous Noel designer series paper. I use that on some of these cards. Here's the next one. May your Christmas be holly jolly and bright again with some of the ruffled, that's the fresh fig ruffled ribbon. And then here's the next one. This one was the one that caught everybody's eye the other night at class, I think. And this isn't even uh, the frame, there aren't framelits, so there, this isn't the framelit that comes um, in with this um, suite. This is actually part of the beautiful baubles, so that's part of the, um, um, the product of the week that we've been featuring, right? So isn't that beautiful? Then with more of the, I basically picked that copper foil because of the copper foil in um, that 
the designer series paper. I just love that. And then the ribbon is beautiful too, right? So three of each of these you're going to make. And then here's the last one featuring that sprig punch with some of the sparkly glimmer paper in the different colors. Fill the season with happiness and then more of our ribbon and some of the braided linen trim with a couple of the little um, sequins on there too. So again, three of each of these cards, so 12 cards total. The other thing you guys need to know is the ink pad colors. So make sure that you have these. If you don't, we can always order these for you as well. But we used Tranquil Tide ink, Mary Merlot ink, Knight of Navy ink, and Fresh Fig ink. And I um, have just made the video that I'm going to upload to YouTube over the weekend. So if you missed any of the details, you can always find um, the class to go details on the YouTube video once I get that uploaded this weekend. Okay. Um, but I think that's everything you need to know. Um, so I'll include the link as soon as I have all of that done. I was a little, um, I just got these projects designed on Wednesday and I haven't had a chance to get every, all the rest of the marketing done yet. But I thought since I have them, I want to show you guys. So to go, that's all the to go options. Then actually, if you are local and want to come to the local class, these are the same cards we're going to make in the local class on November 29th. You're going to make three of each of these at the stamp -a stack You can get the stamp set and or the punch in class. You'll definitely get the ribbon because we're going to use lots of that on the cards. And I will post details on that um, the local class also. I'll have those on Facebook as well. So let me know if you have any questions or you're interested in that class to go. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, you guys. Okay. So I don't know if you, you maybe have seen sneak peeks um, on Pinterest or maybe other people's blogs, but I just ordered. So I can't even tell you what the name of this um, suite is, but basically, okay, these are new products that are, they're not in the holiday catalog, but they are gorgeous holiday. And then they kind of span even beyond holiday time. Um, but products that we, uh, as demonstrators, um, we can order in October and then beginning November 1st, as a customer, you can order any of these things. So I will tell you, if you fall in love with these and you can't wait to order them on November 1st, if you buy the starter kit, you can actually get these products in the starter kit. Or once you buy the starter kit, then you're a demonstrator, which happens immediately. So for example, if you bought the starter kit right now, one minute from now, you would be a demonstrator or less, I guess I should say, and then you could put another order in and get these awesome products. So I have to show you, the first one is called the Snow is Glistening stamp set. And I think it reminds me of a stamp set that we had a while ago with this tree. I honestly think it was like the very first Christmas card. You know how like it was the first year that I made like 100 handmade Christmas cards and sent them out to everybody. And it was with a stamp kind of like this. And I think I might have even embossed them, like a hundred of them. I cannot even imagine doing that now. But <laughs> back then, I wasn't, I didn't have such a business. It was still more of a hobby for me. And so I had the time to be able to do that. But now I would maybe make Lily emboss a hundred of these. <laughs> that's how, that's how this goes. She was too little. She couldn't have done embossing back then. But so, okay, then look, can you guys, I have to get super close, right? So let's make sure you can see. So there are some beautiful, I just love the snowflakes. There's kind of like a snow falling and then a pretty background. And then here are some cute sentiments. It says, sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. I like that. Each snowflake is beautiful, sparkling, and special, just like you. Aw, wouldn't that be nice to receive a card that said that, huh? More little snowflakes, the joy, and then actually that's like the little tree, the bottom of the tree, another little snowflake, and then this one says, Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world. Well, that's that's a beautiful sentiment, right? Um, okay, so yeah, and let's see. It is, yep, it's a photopolymer stamp set. So I haven't even, this just came in the mail yesterday. Uh, UPS, I guess I should say, my good buddy, my UPS guy, Rob. Um, so he dropped this off for me. So I haven't even had a chance to play with it because I was at work yesterday and then ran to stamp -a stack last night, or stamp -a stack class last night. So yeah, so I'm going to, uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll have time to play with this. Of course, I have a million other things on the list. So, but we will, you will be seeing this in the next week or two. I will have a fun project to show you guys at least one with that stamp set, right? So again, you can order this as a demonstrator right now by the starter kit and you can get it in your starter kit or on November 1st 
um, as a customer, you can order. That Snow is Glistening stamp set. And I'll make sure to include all the links and details on that too once that goes live. So they actually have another stamp set that's called Happiness Surrounds. And you can see this one is a little less um, kind of Christmassy. It's a little more like all year round type of season. I've seen um, a couple of projects actually with some of these, the flower and leaf images with like fun, bright kind of springy colors which we can always use some of that right about now too, right? As it gets colder <laughs> and drearier around the northern and uh, western parts of the state, right? Or the country. Okay, so this one we've got a congratulations, which I never have enough of that sentiment actually in a stamp set, I don't think. Then here's a cute one. This one says, here's to new beginnings, sending positive thoughts. That's awesome. It's your day. Surround yourself with happiness and hello, friend. And then this kind of reminds me of that Eastern Palace. Same idea. I wonder if it would work with any of those framelits. I bet you could have some fun with that. And then some other fun imagery, too. I really think that's very cool, too. That kind of, oh, I don't know what you say. What? How do you describe that? But this is another, it's a 14-piece, another photopolymer stamp set. So very easy placement with these. Yes, Marianne, they are, and Kim, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're just beautiful. So two stamp sets, and then they actually have, these are called the Snowfall Thinlets, and I have not even opened these, so let's check these out, because they're supposed to coordinate with both of these stamp sets. So what I will tell you is there's no bundle. Everything is kind of a la carte and separate. The Snow is Glistening stamp set, the Happiness Surround stamp set, and then the Coordinating Snowfall Thinlets that are going to work with both of those stamp sets, as I understand it. So let's take a peek and see. And I feel like, oh yeah, there's more than one. Whoa, wow. Does it even tell us how many? I don't think it does. It doesn't give you, oh, it does. Actually, it says 20. There are 20 framelits in here. So this is beautiful. Can you see how big? Obviously these are all actual size. So we've got that gorgeous, oh my gosh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to make sure to have time to play with this this weekend. And then some other, look at all of these. And you can see how, so snowflakes, but then they can also be flowers too, some leaves. Oh, and this is cool. They really started doing this a lot where well, those maybe aren't exactly the same, but they're similar, right? So you can get three different size snowflakes with only one crank of the handle. Um, yeah, isn't it beautiful, Marianne? Yeah, I love there, the dashing deer, or what is it, the detailed deer thinlets. They have a bunch of like, they're teeny, teeny, tiny. They're, I can't even make my finger, my thumb, whatever, go that small. But they're exactly the same, but you got like four of them. So again, if you wanted to do a bunch of little flowers or kind of snowflakes on something, you just put four of them down and run it through once instead of having to run it one of them through four different times. So I love that they're doing that for us because can you see? These are all a little bit different in size and detail, but they're similar. So you could make lots of fun snowflakes again with just one crank through, right? Okay, so there is half. And then here, oh my gosh, I have seen. I was wondering where I saw that on somebody's project and I was wondering, I hadn't noticed that. That's why, because I haven't even opened this yet. And then, oh, these are interesting too. So I think these are going to be the kind of thing that, yeah. So you could cut out just the outline or if you want to do the detail and the outline or maybe just the detail too. And same thing, I feel like, is that just... Yeah, I think that's one. It almost looked like, yeah. So this, the cutout, and then the flower, or kind of star type of thing there. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Okay, ladies, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I said, now I have to make time. Look at, okay, so awesome set. The snowfall thinlets, right? That are gonna, you can see, let's see. I feel like, oh, like this is a good example. Like this right here. Can cut that guy out for us yep that can cut that one out right there right so oh yeah <laughs> yes all that you'll need for snowflake images yeah and you know what um now that as i kind of think about that we didn't really have any snowflakes in the holiday catalog per se especially not framelits that will cut out all that detail so this is going to be an awesome set of framelits Oh, and the stamp sets too. I love both of these. So lots and lots of fun. And then there are some other um, kind of embellishments and things. So let me show you those. Um, I want to start with, this is, these are called white velvet sheets. And I don't think, yeah, it's cardboardy. They've been doing that. So it's almost like they're 
packaging them so they're really well protected inside here. So let's see, they're kind of probably, oh, I see, they've got two pieces of cardboard too. Okay, and then, oh, now I feel it. You can't, you can't see it. Well, I don't know, are you gonna be able to? Um, let's see, what is Kim asking? Is there one for the tree? No, there is not a framelit for the tree. Um, yeah, this one, I think probably because honestly, it would be so easy to cut that. Um, there is not, nope. So if you wanna cut that guy out, you have to cut that. Um, just use you know a big pair of scissors and you just snip right along each of those sides. So yeah, no, no framelit for that one. Um, but okay, so can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear it, but I don't know, you know, through Facebook if you can hear it. There's a little glare here too. It, it's funny because it doesn't look like much, but it's like, it's kind of fuzzy. It's, it's a little bit, just a real um, uh, light pile, I guess, of velvet. So white, but can you imagine when you put these, um, put the, uh, <laughs> the snowflakes? Oh my gosh, they're going to be, so it's kind of like the flocking. That's what it feels like. You know, the, um, Oh, what is that called? The Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper that has the flocking that's a little bit fuzzy. That's how this whole piece of paper feels. I, I just kind of want to keep rubbing it. It's really, <laughs> it's kind of fun. So, but like I said, it doesn't look like a lot probably to you guys, um, you know, on Facebook. But you get two sheets and they're nicely um, packed inside here. Here's the other one, but they put cardboard on both sides too. So it'll keep it very well intact here. So... Okay, so that is that, and then there's one more thing I have to show you guys. These are called the Snowflake Trinkets. So let's check these guys out. Oops, let's see, let me get that back up there a little bit. Okay, so Snowflake Trinkets, you get a bunch of them. It says 20 of them. And let's see, I feel like there were a couple of different designs. Okay, so can you see, let me see if I can get in good light here. Okay, so there's one and it's got a little rhinestone, I would say, in the center, right? I feel like there were at least a couple. So those look like the same. And then there's this guy that's a little bit more detailed. I keep wanting to go way over here, but you can't even see my hand when I do that. I always feel like the camera's in a weird spot. So, okay, then these have more detail with a rhinestone inside there too. And I'm trying to see, that might be, you might get 10. I'm thinking that's how it works, right? We gotta check them out now. Cause I, when I saw them posted, somebody had a picture posted online and I almost thought that there were two different like detailed ones and two different, um, you know, not so detailed ones. But now I think it's, so that would have been like four different altogether. I think these are all the same. Yeah, might've just been the picture the way they looked. So, okay, yep, I think I've figured it out, right? So we have 10 of the detailed little guys and then 10 of the not quite so, right? Yeah, so, oops. Oh, maybe that's what you can do if you don't wanna see. So here's like the back side. Can you guys see those? Barely, right? So if you don't wanna see the sparkle, you could flip it over this way, right? And then if you want the little rhinestone sparkle, then you flip it over that way. So there we go, those are it. Yeah, okay, and Marianne, yes. Oh, I didn't even see you ask that question, but yeah. That's exactly it. It's like the flocking on that um, Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper is on that velvet white paper. And you get two sheets of that too, that two 12 by 12 pieces. And then, like I said, 10 of each of these little guys. So, uh, yeah, I love them too. I always love these um, kind of things. And they, they made a bunch of them. Well, for a couple years in a row, they had a bunch of really pretty snowflakes. So I'm glad they're back. And actually, what I will tell you, in the past, they have been a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see. I mean, they're still not, you know, they're not going to bend. They are metal. Um, so in terms of being able to mail them, you're definitely going to want to hand cancel. But they're not as thick, you know what I mean, as they have been in the past. So I don't even know if I could say how thick they are, but... You just have to get them and see. They're so cute. I can see putting them on little treat projects too. That would be a lot of fun. So awesome. So like I said, that stuff will all be available November 1st. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can get it right now. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions on that. And I will make sure to post the links with, um, you know, all the item codes on November 1st for you guys also. Okay. Um, all right. I think we are ready to do some stamping. Are you guys ready to do that? 
Let me grab my grid paper and everything went flying. I don't know what was all of that, but okay. So let, oh, we have got quite the glare. So you guys remember how I always had to drag my table around? I feel like maybe I'm just not gonna do that. Somebody tell me if it's really bothering you to have this. It's because the, you know, the sun is so low now that it comes in at a different angle than it did this summer. So I'm always gonna have these kind of shadows, but let me know. I like to be able to do this Facebook Live in front of my window um, because it gives me more light. So I'm not moving my table much, but I, I will move it if this is bugging anybody. So, um, oh, Marianne is saying she was hoping that they would come out with that. Yes, I'm assuming maybe either you're talking about the um, white velvet paper or maybe those cute snowflake trinkets. So, okay, let me see. I've got two cards. Which one do I want to? I'm going to do, okay, we're going to do this card first. Um, let's see, this one is actually, I'll show it to you first. So isn't this beautiful? I think what I loved the most about it was it was a little bit non-traditional in the colors. So I love the blueberry bushel, the real bright, pretty blue kind of accents on this card. This was a swap that I received from Bonnie O'Neill. Can you guys see? Somebody said I need to say that slower. Um, and let's see, she has, oh, her, her blog is called Bonnie Stamped dot com b-o-n-n-i-e-s-t-a-m-p-e-d dot com so bonnie o'neill created this card in a swap that i received and this was one of those you know like i get maybe 20 or 25 of them and i flip through and they're always like a handful that i'm like oh we have to make that oh we have to do something with that so this was the one that i chose kind of in honor of our um stamp -a stack the last peaceful noel stamp -a stack and the class to go kit because this uses that stamp set and punch as well. So I want you guys to see how awesome it was and then maybe you want to do that class to go or come to stamp a stack class with me. So, okay, let me, I need to make sure how to get my stamp set and my punch out of the class to go info. And we are not gonna have to do any die cutting on this one, are we? Isn't that funny how like that makes me kind of happy? <laughs> I think because I don't have to get the big shot out, right? Okay, so I've got all my parts and pieces. Before I even get started, let's talk about measurements. So you guys know. Ah, Kim, you like the color combo too. Yeah, I know. There's something, it's the bright blue. It's just so, like I said, not expected. Okay, you guys can see that, right? So here's our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. This time we made a tall card, so we cut it in half at the four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. This is gray granite cardstock too, okay? So this is gonna be our, our tall card like this, okay? So we've got that piece that we're not gonna need to use for a little while. Then we have a piece of Blackberry Bliss, the most beautiful, deepest purple you will ever see. Four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? That's gonna layer there. And this is the one we're gonna do our stamping on, Whisper White piece that measures three and three quarter by five inches, okay? Then we also have just this little strip of, this is the frosted floral. Yeah, you can see the frostiness a little bit more. A um, little glisteny there, right? So this is frosted floral designer series paper, just a little strip that measures one inch by four inches, okay? So let's do our stamping. I think I have all my stamps here. Make sure we are good to go. And I've got my ink. Okay, so the idea is, yeah, that we are, what are we gonna start with? Um, <laughs> let's do the blue. So our blueberry bushel, we're gonna start with our blueberry bushel ink pad, okay? Oh, this one I haven't used very much. Wow, that is super tight. I'm gonna have to use that one a little bit more. Loosen up the ink pad a bit. Okay, so we're gonna, Kind of, I meant to punch a little circle and I totally forgot to do that. So I kind of want to imagine that there's a circle here and then I'm gonna just start kind of putting these guys around my imaginary circle, okay? Oh, that blue is beautiful. I'm trying to leave enough room. And you know, if it's not exactly 
um, spaced perfectly. I think that's okay. Okay, so there's our blueberry bushel. And it, it did I say that it uses the Peaceful Noel stamp set? So we're using this stamp right here. We're using that little sprig. We're using the teeny tiny little berries. And then we're using the fill the season with happiness sentiment in the middle there, okay? Okay, so there's step one. Actually, we're gonna keep this out. You know what, why don't we do that right now while I've got it. So here, this is just kind of a scrap piece of gray granite cardstock. I'm gonna stamp my fill the season with happiness right on there. Ooh, I love that color. That is so pretty, the blue, that blueberry bushel on the gray granite. Okay, we're gonna move that out of the way though. So come back here, we're gonna finish our stamping. So now this is my gray granite ink. Thank you, Marianne. I'm glad you like this. I wish I could take credit, but Bonnie did a really nice job on this card, didn't she? <laughs> I agree. Okay, so now we are just gonna kind of stamp. Looks like my stamp is darker. Kind of makes me wonder if she really used gray granite ink. Um, maybe she used the smoky slate. Makes me wonder. So ours is going to be a little bit deeper and darker. Either that or maybe her ink pad wasn't quite as juicy as mine. But I think it looks beautiful either way. Hers is, can you see that? It's just going to be a little bit lighter and mine's going to be a little bit darker. But it's still beautiful. Okay, now we need our Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And we are going to put our berries. So just kind of... So these are meant to not look... Isn't that funny? Because I feel like this is really inky. So they're not meant to um, be super dark. If that makes sense. It's almost like it's a little bit smudgy watercolored. The stamp is itself. I'm gonna keep turning this just because I'm afraid. I feel like I always have ink on myself. Last night at class, I looked down and we used Tranquil Tide ink and I had this I can't see it. Maybe I, that's good. I showered well. <laughs> there was just this huge smudge of green ink. And I was like, how did that happen? There. Okay. So that's it. So you see how simple that is. Now you could get more technical if you wanted and use your Stamparatus. But I just kind of like to sprinkle that around there. And I just, I don't think it has to be super precise. Okay. Let's see. We need some ribbon. I'm gonna grab my chamois. I always have my little note that says, use your chamois on Facebook Live. So let's do that. So I'm gonna clean these with my chamois. You can see I haven't really cleaned this much either too, but it never leaves a shadow, which I love. Oh, Philomena, thank you. You like the darker gray. You know what, I think I, think I might be with you. I'm gonna put the whole thing together and we'll check it out. Um, but yeah, I think either color. And like I said, it might be, cause it looks like about the same shade. I think her ink pad, you know, she made a bunch of these, so by the time she got them all made, it looked like her ink had probably kinda, not really, but kinda dried up a little bit. So, okay, moving those out of the way. So now, this is the cool part. We use punches for both of the inside pieces on our circle. So we've got the two inch circle punch. Oh, and let's see Marianne sing. I love that set. I love the way you're making the wreath. Yeah, so that was the thing, because I kept looking at the sentiments and not really seeing how you could kind of build things with these other images. So I loved that she designed that card and kind of showed me another way to use that set too. Cause I tend to just kind of put these, you know, maybe in the corner of an envelope or something is <laughs> a lot of times how I end up using those images. So yeah, I love the wreath as well. Okay, so here's our two inch circle punch. Fill the season with happiness. We've got that guy right there. So again, that was just out of a scrap piece of gray granite cardstock. Oh, and you know what I, oh no, I remember this. I didn't forget. At first I was like, well, I need my um, starburst punch behind here, but here's the trick, ladies. With this piece that we're gonna layer right on here, just push this way up inside there because you don't want it close to the edge, so you keep your edge intact because then this is gonna layer right over top of that and you never even know that I have a huge hole back there, right? I love those cute little paper saving techniques. Okay, and then, oh now, this is what we need. With our blueberry bushel cardstock, we need three sprig punches. That's a tight punch, man, you can hear that. You need some strong hands to get that punch going, today anyway. Okay, so I think we are ready 
to put things together. Let's grab some adhesive and I'm going to need some dimensionals too. Okay, so we are going to put some adhesive on our circle and pop this guy right on there. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this right there. Okay, now we can layer our white piece on our Blackberry Bliss piece. Okay, oh my gosh, I love this color combination. I, I love the, I think, yeah, like I said, that non-traditional would not have really thought about putting these colors together. It's that blue, that pop of bright blue. I'm just loving it. Okay, and then we're gonna put this guy right on there, okay? And then just our little strip I'm gonna put some adhesive on this one and run it along the bottom here. Okay. Oh, that's too long. What did I do? Hmm. Oh, I know, because I made it four inches. How's that gonna look? Maybe I'll put it over both of them. I think that's what we're gonna do. I was either gonna trim it, but I've got sticky all over it. So we're gonna run that out. Okay, here I am being anal. Sorry, ladies. I should not be anal on Facebook Live because you guys can't even see the details, but it's kind of hanging off that one edge a little bit, and that bugs me. There. Okay, so there's our piece of designer series paper. Now, oh, let's see. Um, I think I have to buy this stamp set now. <laughs> I just love this card, Kim says. <laughs> that's cute. That's how it works for us all, too, Kim. I tell you, that's for sure. Okay, I, oh, I did bring my little silicone mat here. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna kind of flip these over and I'm just gonna put some adhesive and then we're gonna try to, I tried to put those dimensionals like further in because um, I made another card the other day kind of like this and I kept trying to like shove these things in and the dimensionals were kind of in their way. So there, okay. So put that one right there and let's see cute little sprigs, right? Then we're gonna put this one maybe right about there. And then one more down right about there, I'd say. Okay, and then we have to tie our bow, our blueberry bushel bow with this cute little, I think this is an eighth of an inch wide ribbon. We're gonna tie our bow and this one you have to work to tighten that grow grain. Um, it stays, but you have you just have to work a little bit to uh, keep it tight there. Okay, grab a mini glue dot and pop him on. Where's the next one? There we go. Okay, and pop that little bow right there. And there we go. How about that, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you know what? It's funny now. You know what happens? That ink fades. Because can you see, this is the one that Bonnie made and this is the one that I made. And it, the colors don't even look that much different now. Isn't that crazy? That was so much darker when I first stamped it. And it's really kind of lightened up because it looks very similar. But okay, so there's our first card. Well, hi, Tammy, how are you? I hope you're having a good Friday. Um, so this is one of the cards that you will receive if you put an online order in this week. And then let me show you the other card, which is, oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to show you guys. Let me get this stuff scooted out of the way a little bit. But this next card features our, let me get this, get that host code back in there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nikki. And thank you, Philomena. I wish I could take credit. I really, you know, after a while when I make these things and I forget that, oh, that's right, I did case that from somebody. <laughs> I was talking to somebody about that whose card I had cased. And that's kind of a weird thing when like after you've kind of used it and shown it so much, you feel like it's yours, even though the original idea was somebody else's. You do have to be careful with that too, because that can kind of bother some people. So I try to make sure I'm always giving credit because I don't ever want anybody to think I'm, you know, really like taking their ideas, but I love, you know, when I love a card, I have to show you guys, right? Mm. Okay, so this next one, oh my gosh. Okay, so check this out. I love this Coastal Cabana. Okay, let me tell you, this card basically started with this ribbon. I have been eyeing this like I need to use. This is the copper and, well, it's Coastal Cabana, then with the little copper, it's almost stitching along there too. 
Can you guys see if I get right up in there? Oh my gosh, it's like glistening and beautiful. So then I love that tufted embossing folder, so we had to use that. We used some copper foil with the awesome, this is the product of the week, the stamp set, the beautiful bobble stamp set, and then the detailed bobbles thinlets. So let me show you, I'm gonna show you all of those. There, make sure that's down. The stamp set and so on first. Um, and the frame looks too. So let's see, get all my things here. Okay, so you guys have seen, right? I hope you guys are enjoying that. I'm having so much fun with these, the product of the week. It really kind of helps me focus on um, something that I'm excited to show you guys as well. So let me know if there's something that you're interested in um, having as the product of the week. I'd love to feature that for you anytime that you're interested. So, okay, the beautiful bobble stamp set is gorgeous, right? So they've got this detailed um, bunch of ornaments, right? And then this other one, oh, did you guys like the other kind of turquoise, blue and turquoise colors um, that I can't remember who, I just grabbed those off Pinterest because I hadn't played with anything yet, but I knew I was gonna be showing you guys on Facebook Live. So I apologize because the, the pictures, when I pulled them from Pinterest, they almost got a little bit blurry, so it's hard to see where they came from, but honestly, if you go to Pinterest and type in, in the looking glass, Stampin' Up, Beautiful Baubles, all of those projects that I showed you um, on the um, Facebook group this week will all come up on Pinterest too. So if you wanna get back to the details um, on how to make some of those things, that's probably the best way to do that is go right to Pinterest. So, okay, but then the other sentiments, we've got Deck the Halls, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and then Hope you find beauty in the details of the season. And I loved that sentiment, so that's why that's the one I had to use on this card. And then, check out, these are the detailed baubles thinlets. Oh my goodness. And actually, this is the one that I was saying, that one I used on this card here, and we're also gonna use it on that holiday stamp -a stack the Peaceful Noel holiday stamp -a stack That one right there was cut with that framelit right there. So kind of get a twofer here where I'm gonna show you on um, this card that I'm gonna demonstrate and then you also will get, so that's an example in the class to go. I'll, I'll die cut these for you so you don't need these framelits. If you love them, then certainly you could get them, but I'll send you the three ornaments that you need to make those um, to go kit cards. So that is the one that we are gonna use. And then let's see, where's my stamp set? Where did it go? It's right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so ladies, crazy Amy here. Um, here's an example. This framelit right here, I believe it's going to cut out. Oh, that is really cool. So you can stamp it. And if you just want to stamp it maybe as a background, that's awesome. But you can also die cut. Oh my gosh, I hadn't even realized that. See what happens when you do a Facebook Live and you discover all these things? Yeah, so that framelit will cut all those things out. And then, oh my gosh, you could have so much fun. Um, that's how they did. I think there's a card in the catalog too where they probably cut some of these out and then a couple of them they popped up. So maybe they stamped it on a card and then a couple of them they kind of raised them up and gave them that dimension. So, ooh, that is very cool, right? And then this is another detailed um, framelit there. And then these are pretty cool too. So this is kind of an outline that you could, oh my, I can just imagine like the fun you could have just with that shape, right? If you don't want, so you could use this one that gives you all the detail around it or just this singly, or you can put them together. So beautiful set of framelits, right? Okay, so let's get going making this card here. Um, again, I think I'm gonna give you dimensions, although there's really not much to the dimensions on this card, it's pretty simple, okay? All right, so Coastal Cabana cardstock that starts out at eight and a half by 11. Oh my gosh, I am so happy this color is back, Coastal Cabana. Oh, let's see. So thank you for the share, Marianne. Oh, and that is amazing because the little dies move to, yeah, that's true, that's true, Sandra. That magnetic platform, we're always like laughing at class, like you can't fight the magnetic field, right, when you're using your big shot. If, if it's moving, you have to move the paper. Wow, look at all of those. So the sun's peeking out. What is what is making that? Huh, I'm trying to see. There's like a really interesting shadow. I don't know what that is, but oh my gosh. Okay, now I do have to move the table because that's really bugging me. Let's try. 
we come back here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then we get in like the dark. Okay, well we're gonna try, oh, I don't know. Do you guys remember this? I was I was always like dragging the table around. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, hmm. oh my gosh. Sorry, ladies. I'm gonna be funny today. Okay, now I kind of want the sun to just peek away for a sec, right? Well, anyway, okay, this is what we're doing. Okay, so the cardstock, eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, and we scored it in half at the four and a quarter to make our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Okay, then we have a piece of very vanilla cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, my kind of standard layering there. And that's it, everything else is just scraps and stuff to kind of punch and whatever. So. Let me grab, let's do the big shot work, okay? I'll grab my big shot here. Let's do our die cutting of, now that I think about that, I think I used a few circles, didn't I? Okay, we're gonna attempt this. Let's see, I've got, all right, so we've got this guy right here. My copper foil, can you guys see? Yep, okay. We're in view pretty well anyway, right? I do that. Okay, so I got my copper foil right here. And then I've got my two circle. Let's see if I can tell you guys the sizes of these. Hmm. Straight edge. Sorry, these are always such a mess. It looks like one, two. Is that the next one? Yep. So the third and fourth smallest straight edge, right? Because one, two, three, four. Yep. So the third and fourth smallest straight edge circles we need for these two pieces. And I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do, but I'm gonna die cut this and then stamp on it. And I think we're gonna be fine. Normally I would stamp first, but I've already got my big shot out here. So these two need to go on there and then just a scrap piece of vanilla. We're gonna put that frame on there, okay? All right, so I do, oops, everything's kind of wiggling there. Um, I want to run that uh, ornament back and forth a time or two with all that detail. Okay, so we're going to go one more crank of the handle. Woo! Kind of went flying there. Okay. All right, I'm going to just lift these things off of here because we want to do our embossing and then we'll check out how that all went. Okay, so now I have my other Big Shot platform for my embossing of the magnetic platform we have the tufted embossing folder which I love oh my gosh it's one of my favorites and I haven't played with it as much as I would like to okay you guys know about the line on here right so the only struggle is once you get it lined up then you have to close the folder without the paper moving <laughs> I think I've got it so just yeah kind of have to be careful there and then when you put it down here you again have to be careful that it doesn't move so Lots of precision, okay. And it's funny, this one I feel like I almost need a shim on. I'm gonna just run it back and forth a few times. It's almost like, yeah, like I need another little piece to help it emboss even more. I know I've heard about the, um, no, that looks good. Actually, that looks, oh, that is beautiful. Looks like a mattress, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've heard, you know, I've heard about um, spritzing your paper. I just haven't gotten that far yet. That's probably one more step than I'm probably going to take on a project. So, okay, we let's just put this down, and I'm going to use a bunch of adhesive. I normally would probably still use my Fast Fuse because I don't like the bumps and the rumples on my projects. Or, you know, on the embossed piece, I like it to lay super flat. So we are going to rub kind of all the way around all of the edges to help adhere that. I think that's when I lose a little bit of embossing too because I press so hard <laughs> trying to make sure that's on there. Okay, but oh, it still looks good. Okay, now let's see. We have, so our circle, the vanilla piece, that one's good. And then our other circle that's gonna layer behind there, that one is good. Now this one, I'm gonna grab my, see how I'm just like, ooh, a lot of those just pop right out when you flop it around. Let's just run this on our Big Shot die brush and that little pad, try to get as many out as we can. We might, I did have to poke a few little bits. Wow, that looks really good. I feel like there's one 
Okay, that one, this little guy. Boop, boop, boo. Just kind of in this mood. This lady's. This. All right, we're cruising along. Where did it go? When I turned it over, I saw right where it was. Maybe it popped out. Nope, it's. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, where is it again? Oh, seriously. Isn't that funny? It maybe did pop <laughs> when I dropped it. I guess if you toss it around enough, all of these things fall out too. Okay, good. I think we're good there now. Okay, just gonna slide that right out of the way. Okay, um, oh, we need one more with a two and a quarter inch circle punch. Just a scrap of Coastal Cabana cardstock. I'm just gonna punch that out and then that layers perfectly behind your ornament. See, so this is exactly two and a quarter inches, the ornament is itself. And then I wanna use, so this is, um, you can use your fine tip glue pen, but I think that takes, that's way too much time for me. I can't, I gotta move faster than that. So I just use my little silicone craft sheet and I'm very, can you see I'm not like dragging my snail at all. I'm just kind of putting little flicks of adhesive. Nope, that doesn't go on there. It goes on this one. That wouldn't even show up, would it? So that's how I, instead of using my fine tip, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing, I just don't have the patience. So I use my snail and then this little silicone mat, and we can put that right on there. And if you get some adhesive, you know, that kind of span like from one little section to another, if you just rub right in there, it'll come off. So, oh my gosh, isn't that so cool? Huh, I love it. It's beautiful, right? Okay, now, woo -hoo. all right, let's try to do our stamping here with our Coastal Cabana ink. And on this circle, hope you find beauty in the details of the season. And I've got, should be inked up well enough. I feel like I slid. Okay, nope, that's good. Shoo! I thought it was gonna look smudgy. I thought my hand kinda at the last second like moved, but we're good. Okay, let's put some adhesive on the back of this guy and add him to our copper circle that we die cut with our framelits, the layering circle framelits. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, so at gatheringinspiration.com, I'm giving all of the um, products and item codes um, that we use on these projects. Now, the post doesn't um, go live until um, tomorrow on Saturday, um, but all the details will be there. So if you wanna know item codes for anything that we're using on any of these projects, they're all listed over on gatheringinspiration.com on Saturdays is when that posts, okay? So if hopefully that's helpful if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that we use to make these cards. Okay, so we're just gonna pop this guy maybe right on there and then we're gonna peel the dimensionals off of this one. Look at that glare, oh my goodness. So can you guys see this post? Well, the post that holds my camera up is what makes that that little, that funny glare there. So sorry about that, it's just, it's life. Okay, all right, and then, oh my gosh, so this is part of the Tea Room Ribbon Pack. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can even see the, oh, the shimmery, I love, there's something about that color combination, the Coastal Cabana and Copper. This is, so there are a few of these products, and this is actually in the annual catalog, right, that keep calling to me like, we wanna go on a project, you need to use us, the ribbon, and then those pink, those petal pink rhinestones are the same. That both of these things are like, when are we going to be on a project, Amy? <laughs> so I'm glad, happy to say, you get five yards of this Coastal Cabana and copper. And then I think it's very vanilla and copper. That is the other one. You get two, two bolts of five yards of ribbon in the tea room ribbon combo pack. Okay, I'm looking for, I just tied my bow. I don't even know if I said that or you saw what I was doing, we're gonna grab a glue dot. And I liked to just put that right kind of on um, the top of the ornament. I don't wanna smush it down. I don't want it to be like tacked down too much on, like on the embossed part, I guess I'll say. Okay, and then I just thought, okay, it needs a little something else. So I'm gonna use my new, 
my take your pick tool, right? And I just added a couple of pearls. I love just kind of sprinkling these pearls. Okay, this is supposed to be super snazzy how I do this and it's not, it wasn't cooperating with me quite the way I needed it to. It's almost like the spatula. Let's see, we're gonna put one more right there. But isn't this cute? It's like a little teeny tiny, make like little teeny tiny Barbie brownies and this is a little spatula for your Barbie brownies <laughs> to get them out of the pan. <laughs> That's all I can think of, this little spatula. Okay, so there it is, card number two featuring that beautiful bobble stamp set and wherever the, my detailed bobbles thinlets. Thinlets, yep, detailed baubles, thinlets, right? So, oh my gosh, I just, I don't, I think it was a few years ago there was designer series paper, Christmas, holiday designer series paper that used this Coastal Cabana and some of our other blues, and it was just the most beautiful. I can still remember it. It's probably been five or more years, and it's still one of my favorite papers that we had. So if Stampin' Up! is listening, will you come out with some pretty holiday paper next year that uses Coastal Cabana? Because I love it. <laughs> you like that, huh, Marianne? I just was thinking of that. Doesn't it look like it's like a little spatula? It's like Barbie size, like Barbie would use this. <laughs> it would fit in her hand perfectly. So, okay, I'm cracking myself up today. This is when you know it's been a long week and you're kind of exhausted, so you're like slap happy. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I think I've got everything cleaned off. So, quick recap. Where is everything? Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, over here, right? So, you guys remember? As always, here's the host code, the UCQEVB29. If you put in an online order of at least $30 by next Wednesday, whatever next Wednesday is, I don't know, between now and next Wednesday, right? You are going to get the projects that I demonstrated. You always get these two cards, right? Then your name goes in the drawing to win the rhinestones and the frosted and clear epoxy droplets. And so look at all this stuff you can get, right? This is basically what Marianne's going to get this week, the projects that I demonstrated last week and her embossing folder. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you get another free embellishment. So look at all this awesome stuff you get with your online order. So please take advantage of that. I love to see you guys. I love to make these cards and send them out to everybody. It's, it gives me so much joy to say thank you too. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great day today um, or a great time watching Facebook Live. I hope you were inspired today. I hope the shadows and glares aren't driving you as crazy as they drive me. Um, I hope you have a great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, my home football, the Alma Panthers, are in their first playoff game uh, tonight. So we're heading to the football game later on tonight and going to go root our Panthers on. So anyway, have a great weekend. I hope you guys get some time to do some crafting. Um, make sure too that you comment on the other posts on our Facebook group and our Facebook page because I'm going to pick that one random day and anybody that posts or shares is going to get three more entries in the drawing. So thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I hope everyone did. Oh, thank you, Sandra. You guys are so sweet. I guess I probably like kind of egg you on for these comments too, don't I? <laughs> they do make my day though. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Bye everybody.